Shalom Israel. And when I mean Israel, I'm talking about the Black, Hispanic, and Native Indians. The Lord's 54th annual Passover is going down again this year, sundown, April 1st at 500 South Salisbury Street in Raleigh, North Carolina at the Downtown Conventional Center. It's got enough room for all of us. The Lord's 54th annual Passover. Last year, brothers and sisters showed up from all over the world rocking ancient garments and glorious apparel in order to serve the Most High in Christ. Now, it's that time again. Commander General Johannes putting out the decree for all brothers and sisters to show up sundown, April 1st, in Raleigh, North Carolina. Join us at the Sheridan in Raleigh, the hotel right downtown. It's at 421 South Salisbury. The Passover is right up the block at the convention center. Literally within walking distance. Make sure you pull up. Make sure that you do your due diligence because rooms are going fast and they are limited this weekend. You understand? We have months in advance of preparation. Do not wait till the last minute to get your room. The Lord's 54th annual Passover, Saturday, April 1st, in Raleigh, North Carolina. Join us there. Send the curses to them enemies. The like God said that we will be above all people. Keep going. That are upon the face of the earth. He chose us. And he said that the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are going to be above all people that are on the face of this earth. That's right. Now, being above another group of people, that doesn't make them the same. That means that one is chosen. One has the favor, and one is not chosen. One is excluded from the favor. The, so, the, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, we have the favor, the favor. We are the ones that have been chosen. These other nations do not receive God's love because God does not love them. Read what you got. That's the book of Psalms 147, verse 19. He showed his word unto Jacob. He showed his word unto everybody that's on the face of this planet. He showed his word unto Jacob. He showed us his word to the people in Chinatown right now, did he? He showed his word unto Jacob. No, he showed his word to blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That's who he showed his word to. Keep going. Come on, His statutes and his judgments unto Israel. Unto the whole world. I don't think so. He showed it unto Israel. And Israel is the forefather of the 12 tribes of Israel. The so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. These are the only people who have his statutes and his judgments. These other nations do not follow God's word. God did not give his word to them. So there's no way that God chose them to give out judgments. That's another exclusion. They are not a part of this covenant here. Only the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans have a covenant with God. Keep going. God of God. He has not dealt so with any nation. He has not dealt so with any nation. If you're not a so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American, God don't know you. We got to find out who God chose and who God excluded. God did not choose everybody on the face of this earth. Who cares what the Christian pastors say? They're lying to you. Because it's not in this book. What the Christian pastors say is not in this book right here. They want to change the words of this Bible to make you feel good so they can fill up their pockets. We don't care about your money. We only care that you know the truth and the truth will make you free. Read what you got, brother. Oh, God. This is the book of Romans, chapter nine, verse one. I say, the truth is in Christ. I lie not. The truth is in Christ. I lie not. Because Christ spoke every word of this Bible. That's it. He followed what his father taught him. He walked in the ways of his father. They were on one accord. Christ was the truth because this Bible is the truth. 
and Christ spoke this Bible. Keep reading. Our God. My consensus also bearing with bearing me witness to and hope to the Holy Ghost that I have great heaviness and continual sorrow in my heart. For I could wish that myself were a curse, a curse from Christ for my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh. And this is Christ saying that he, 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 his brethren, his kinsmen, he's giving Paul, Paul is telling everybody that Christ was kin to these group, this group of people. Read what group of people who Christ was kin to, his brethren. Verse 4, who are Israelites to whom pertaineth the adoption? Oh, that's, this is Christ, uh, this is Paul speaking. So look, this is Paul speaking right here. It's saying he will accursed to his kinsmen, his brethren. Keep going. Come on, God. Who are Israelites? Who are who? Israelites. Who are everybody that's on the face of this earth? Israelites. The 12 tribes of the nation of Israel. Who are Israelites? That's who his brethren were. Right. His kinsmen were. Right. Not everyone. Not everyone on the face of this planet is related to Christ. Right. Only the Israelites. Keep going. Come on, God. To whom pertaineth the adoption and the glory? The adoption and the glory God gave to the Israelites, not to everyone. Keep going. Come on, God. And the covenants and the giving of the law. The covenant. That's the contract that the Most High God made with the Israelites. The Old Testament, the Old Testament and the New Testament. The old contract and the new contract. Only to Israel. No other nation knew this covenant. Keep going. Okay. And the service of God. And the Israelites are the only ones that can serve God. Because we are his children. We are the only ones that can serve our Father who art in heaven. No other nation can serve the Most High God because the Most High God didn't give him any laws, statutes, or commandments to follow. We are the only ones that can follow these laws, statutes, and commandments. So we are the only ones that can serve him. Keep going. Come on, God. And the promise. Who's of the Father. And of whom as concerning the flesh. Christ came. Concerning the flesh that Christ came. That, that's a relation. That's excluding every other nation. Because Christ comes from the bloodline of Israel. No other person on the face of this planet, no other nation can say that they are related to Christ. You just say it right here, according to the flesh. That's right. Your family is your family only. A black man and a Chinese man are not family. Africans, even though they have dark skin like us, they are not our family. East Indians, even though they have dark skin like us, they are not our family. Our bloodline, our family is the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel. Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That's it. If you're not black, Hispanic, and Native American, then God is not talking to you. God is not giving you any laws, statutes, and commandments for you to serve him. You are excluded. Keep reading. Oh God. Verse 5. Whose are the fathers and of whom as concerning the flesh Christ came? Christ came in his flesh. He was a man. He came in the flesh and his fleshly family was the Israelites. Keep going. Oh God. Who is over all. God bless forever. Amen. So be it.